music doesn't have to be this rigid formality. There's a growing movement within the traditional classical music scene. It's not about wearing tuxes. I hate wearing tuxes. Leopold! Leopold! It's not about having a concert be like a religious ritual. It should be, it's a social experience. Le Le Leopold! It should be a fun social experience, let's face it. Using electric guitars, synthesizers, video wall presentations, and DJs to accompany orchestras, new ensembles are now pushing the boundaries of what had been considered the classical genre. But the kind of music that turns me on, and I think a lot of people in the group, is music that really is, um, for lack of a better word, it's avant-garde. Unlike names of orchestras you may be used to, these groups brand themselves with names that sound more like rock or jazz bands. Groups like Alarm Will Sound enhance their alt-classical performances with choreography. We can use ourselves and our bodies and our energy and our enthusiasm for what we do and our understanding of how the piece works together and communicate what the music is about through the way we move. Or fuse ensemble with a resident video artist that also entertains during the performance. Grammy-winning eighth Blackbird, a sextet, also combines alt-classical with a theatrical flair. But it all comes down to a more adventurous sound coming from the addition of atypical instruments adding energy to a traditional genre. In Washington, D.C., one group is the Great Noise Ensemble. I just put out an ad on Craigslist thinking, you know, maybe we'd do one concert. Started in 2005 by Armando Bejolo and seven musicians interested in the alt-classical scene, it has grown to 20 instruments and two singers. And now, to an old musical program. Well, here's the conductor and his tails, so he's like a priest. Classical music doesn't need to be the art of dead Europeans played very formally by people dressed uncomfortably. Oh wait, so da -da 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 -da, that's the beginning of the quintuple. No. The lowest? It's a 30 second note before it. It's just so before. So who plays the beginning of the quintuplet? Nobody. Nope. I mean, she's so just, rest? no, it's tied over. Here, oh. this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's really fun. It's almost, almost. I mean, it's a fraction of a second. This in turn also attracts younger conservatory musicians who prefer being in a startup band instead of applying to a more typical orchestra. I've always appreciated pop artists that incorporate some classical into their work. been with the group pretty much from the beginning and it sounded exciting. It seemed like it would have given me the opportunity to perform on the banjo, find whatever pieces are out there. That's the really fun part is that, you know, we have this kind of democracy where we can say, hey, can we play this or can we play that? And Armando, you know, half the time he'll make it happen. This unconventional music is being embraced by the traditional music scene. 
There have been concert series at the Library of Congress and the Kennedy Center that have included groups like Fuse Ensemble, Alarm Will Sound, and Brooklyn Rider. I think our groups are this way of presenting music, not as formally. Still, you know, we still have an element of respect for the music. There's, there's not hooting and hollering in the middle of a concert, although I'm not sure I would be averse to it. Maybe not a rock concert atmosphere, but a, maybe like a jazz concert where you a nice solo, you clap, that kind of thing. Music was this transcendent thing, and it still can be. I'm not saying it doesn't have to be, but there's a, 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 I think we've done it to such a point that it's become off-putting to so many people. If you weren't going to call it all a classic, what term would you give your orchestra? Music. It's music. <laughs>